So here we are now in my little honey hole here today. It's a great morning actually. And uh, we'll see how we make out with a few trout. Oh, that's a nice trout. Not bad for a first cast. I only catch what I'm going to eat. And that's 12 plus 1. Not a bad sized trout. So on my rod here, I have a 6 inch marker, right up to 12. And that is a nice 10 inch trout. So it's not bad. He's a good keeper. I'm using a homemade spinner. Actually, here it is here. And the white thing you might see on it is bacon. You're wasting your money buying worms. I recommend that to anybody. And I was a worm user all my life. I thought my brother told me about the bacon. No, I don't buy worms. I just take a strip of uh, fat off the white bacon. And trust me when I say it works. This pan is not very deep. There's some beautiful country out there. I'm going to start refreshing a little now. It's uh, quarter after seven in the morning. We just woke me up. Lots of struggle on these trout too. I didn't come here with the intentions of catching a trout with every uh, with every cast. It is a nine inch trout. Well it's a nice pan trout that is. But usually what I do, I stick my thumb in their gill and uh, break their neck. Because it's uh, got to be a little bit humane here too when you're fishing. To have your trout there out of water. It's like us underwater. they are drowned. So I like to kill them instantly. With no pain. It breaks your neck too, but it obviously uh, it lets them bleed out a little bit. So when you get your trout home, let your trout... Your trout are not... Uh, Blood's not gone through your, your fish. I say trout because this is uh, this is mud pan trout. Or mud trout I should say. The best thing about bacon is it doesn't lose a scent. Well, it's busy now. But every now and then it does get a little waterlogged. I'm eating tight quarters will help either. So, I'm just going to pop that bacon. I'm actually going to leave the bacon on there now. And it's not inhumane. Anybody thinks that it would be. If you run out of bait, you can use the eye of the trout. And trust me, the fish love it. Crazy as it sounds. But it's a good, uh, it's a good lure for mud trout. I put a lighter pound test on my line, but I'm telling you, you got to have a handle on it. 
because it falls off like crazy. Every stroke in this pan now is about uh, see the work the eye does it every time, right? Measure them up. And he is ten with ten and a half. Nice nice trout, nice trout. So it doesn't take very long to get your limit. And I got three there now. I got ten more to go and we're done for today. Let me home in the house again by eight o'clock. Nope. Took the big bite and then the little fella took it. I'm using a curved hook. Not a lot of people knows what that means. The hook is not a straight hook. So when it goes into the, into the fish of the mouth, the fish of the mouth, it curls in. So really you're not doing no damage to the trout at all whatsoever. It's a, it, they're nice hooks. And very easy to uh, take out of the trout's mouth. Well.